Paul, what is subspace, subspace correction for constraints? Uh, you really want the uh, technical definition? Or... <laughs> uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, um, it's uh, basically uh, kind of a kind of an offshoot of uh, error correction. Error correction is one of the most important uh, challenges right now in quantum computing. Uh, once we solve uh, error correction, uh, then we're off to the races when we start building, you know, huge quantum machines. And there's a lot of research being done. And this is kind of like, uh, kind of like uh, error correction in a way. Uh, it's, uh, you know, qubits can end up getting in the wrong state. And, and like if you're doing a, a math problem, you know, you write down a six instead of a nine, then that can mess up the entire calculation. Uh, you think of subspace correction is, uh, if you think of subspace, it's kind of a safe, safe zone where all the qubits uh, can be while the, the quantum computer is doing all this work. And then if they stray out of that safe zone, then uh, subspace correction is kind of like a smart system that says, okay, that guy made a mistake and I'll fix it. So, so basically you have to, the steps you have to go through are uh, you have to keep, watch the qubits, make sure that they're uh, in the right state. Uh, if something goes wrong, and then uh, the system will detect it and fix it, um, and it'll 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 determine what kind of mistake it made, and then it'll the system will correct the uh, the, the error. So um, that process keeps going on and on as a, as a quantum machine goes through all the algorithms and comes up to the to the final solution. So um without substate th this is this is a, kind of like a brand new thing it's uh it's very limited in scope and uh, it was done by uh, atom computing which is an, a neutral atom computing company neutral atoms uh you know the electrons and uh, protons are, uh, are are equal so it's a it's a neutral neutral body essentially and they um uh their their uh, their qubits are all arranged in an array Atom computing is announcing that uh, they're going to go over 1,200 qubits sometime next year. So uh, they haven't said what their fidelity is going to be or anything like that. But uh, I'm looking forward to having, having a, a, a startup like that going over over 1,000 qubits. So it'll be interesting. Um, yeah, it's amazing as the uh, as the generative AI thing blows up. It's like we, you know, the, the you know some people kind of forget uh, about about quantum, but that's that's very much not the case. I mean, we, you know, we're seeing research like this come out uh, from the folks at Adam. I mean, you know, IBM did their huge reveal and put a 10 year roadmap together, yeah. right? Uh, that, you know, scalability and I just, it, it's, it's just crazy, Paul. Yeah. It, this is just a, uh, you know, kind of an early study in, in this type of, uh, uh, of correction. And uh, they they got some caveats at the end of the study that you know they they use just a very small sample and they use limited graphs for the study. So, but it's early research and I think it's important research. And I'm glad to see companies like uh, Atom Computing are publishing uh, research like this now. So.